Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from a sort of interest in life.com. You're joining me on board good old narrowboat Tilly as you can probably tell and I wanted to record just a quick video about some of the general fun and games that's been going on in life afloat and life in general over the last couple of weeks because as you can imagine it's been all the fun games and chaos of Christmas and New Year. Anyway, let's dive straight into this video as I mean to go on for the rest of the year with an absolutely stunning bit of footage. The original edit of this video had an awful lot of me sat on board talking at the camera and I thought, why on earth are we looking at my face when we've got stuff like this to see? You'll notice that a lot of the footage is from this particular spot because that's where I am currently on my winter mooring and also probably the biggest thing that's happened on the canal in this region for a while is the fact that it's open again. So Chirk Tunnel that was closed has reopened and filled back up with water so there's been a lot more boats around and a lot of new neighbours who are turning up and disappearing as you'll see throughout this video. Equally the weather has been obviously a very big part of the last couple of weeks. We had all of this snow on on Boxing Day and over Boxing Day night which itself has then led to all sorts of chaos and fun and games because as you can imagine while I'm trying to go in and out of work and go into friends and family if it's frozen on the ground and it's been raining overnight such as you can see here it doesn't really lend itself very well for getting on a bike and as you can see here some of the times that I've been biking into town in the morning it's been extremely cold very very chilly indeed but being able to get out there on me bike and see the sunrise and be out there in the absolute peace and quiet and situations like this where you might see one car in your entire commute and the sun's just coming up and the, the sky goes through all of its morning colours it is absolutely beautiful and a wonderful experience of course setting out on such a cold morning as that I was expecting to arrive back at the boat tonight and find that it was incredibly frosty and icy it was certainly very cold in Oswestry Street when I left, but it's got to be said that it seems to be an awful lot warmer out here. Anyway, if we go down here, you'll see my standard procedure of coming home. These are automatic lights that come on, so that's very handy, obviously, first for security, but also for turning up on the boat and it already being lit. So as soon as I open the door, I can see what I'm doing. But this is one of the first very handy little things that I've decided to keep and well, I've been doing it for a long time now. Basically, I have my head torch right at the door so I can just put it on. Then, as we look on the ground here, you can see I've got various bike locks and stuff, and also a leaf. So, obviously, head torch on, grab these, get the bike done, and then I can settle down. Of course, you can imagine that this weather then sat itself right on top of the time that I was doing all of my Christmas overtime, which didn't help at all in terms of getting in and out of work in a timely manner. So I've been on and off the boat all over the place at all times in the usual way, sometimes turning up literally in the middle of the night and very chilly indeed, other times in the middle of the afternoon, then going back into town and then coming back out. All sorts of fun and games, as I say. And really, it's one of them things where a bit of bad luck also happened where I had some terrible eczema come up around my eyes and went to the doctors who rather handily and ominously told me to keep out of the cold and that I might want to look for another job. So that then as well didn't help because obviously things like biking out to work in the morning are extremely cold, particularly on your face and other exposed parts of your body. So that was fun. If on New Year's Eve... I I walked into town and stopped at my mum's house and then was at work the very following morning so obviously I wasn't going to bike out after the midnight celebrations and then bike back first thing in the following morning and so there's been times like that where public transport hasn't been able to sort of see me through but really it's just between being out at friends houses and visiting family over this sort of period you can see here the sad times of taking down the Christmas lights it's been just total chaos really and I haven't spent as much time on the boat as I wanted but really when you're out and about doing things it's all part of life and as I say in many videos boat life for me isn't all about just sitting on a boat doing nothing it's entirely about getting out there and enjoying the world around you. And back to me on the boat so I will wrap things up with the usual set of plugs and say thank you very much for watching Please feel free to subscribe and check out my other videos for loads more narrowboat life and general scenery and fun and games in and around the boat on the canal. Whether it's walking, boating, biking, kayaking, goodness knows what else. 
Feel free also to add me personally on Facebook and Twitter or even like the Facebook page if you want to see loads more photos like the ones that you've seen in this video. Feel free also to check out my books available for the Kindle. The Narrowboat Lad was the first one that I wrote. Uh, just type that into Amazon or find links to the books and everything else that I've just mentioned all in the description below. Until the next time, I hope you have an absolutely fantastic week. And I suppose, as usual, I will say, keep it boat-worthy and farewell.